is today we will do one more salt analysis aim of this salt analysis is to analyze given salt for acidic radical whenever we observe we are analyzing any salt first we will physically observe see the physical observation color is white odor yes vinegar like smell if vinegar like smell is there then we can assume there will be a acetic radical in a given salt but first we will do the experiment if experiment will confirm then we will be sure in given salt acetic radical is present solubility though it is soluble in water then we will make the aqueous solution then we will again check the solubility of given salt for that what we have to do we will take the salt in a test tube right add dilute h2so4 you see after adding dilute h2so4 there is no reaction means no brisk effervescence no rotenic like smell it shows in given salt dilute h2so4 is absent and carbonate sulfide are also absent now we proceed for the concentrate sulfuric acid group for concentrate sulfuric acid group again we'll take one more test tube salt in a test tube okay in a salt we add concentrate sulfuric acid we observe it very carefully right few drops we are going to add in a careful manner you see there is no reaction means no colorless gas pungent smell no brown gas pungent smell <coughs> again we try to smell it yes vinegar like smell is coming if vinegar like smell is coming it shows concentrated sulfuric acid group is present and acetic radical maybe for confirming the acetic radical we will do the one more test for that we take the salt in a dish okay in a salt we add oxalic acid okay and after adding oxalic acid we prepare the we prepare the paste of given salt okay added few drops of water we are making the paste of salt after making it we will smell it yes strong vinegar like smell is there again it is confirming in a given salt acetic radical is present after that we do the more confirmatory test for the given salt for that we prepare the aqueous solution of salt okay for that we take the salt in a boiling tube we add distilled water we shake it properly yes salt is dissolved aqueous solution is ready i will take this aqueous solution in a few ml with different different tubes and we'll perform the next confirmatory test okay first for acetate confirmation we take the aqueous solution few ml add neutral fecl3 
this red coloration again shows in given fluid acetate radical is present. Now this red color solution will divide into two parts. Okay. In first part, we add dilute H2SO4. No. In first part, we add dilute H3. You see, red color will be disappear. See? Okay. This shows in given salt, acetate radical is present. In second part, what we do? We add few drops of water and we heat this test tube and after heating it we observe there is a red brown PPT. Okay. Observe it carefully. See in a proper way, within a few seconds, you will see in a living test tube, red, brown, PPT will be appear. This way, we have more confirmatory test to obesity. First is with oxalic acid paste. Second is neutral FCL3. Third is diluted CL test. And the fourth one is red brown PCT. We will see this test tube for a moment. You will see there is a red brown PPT in a given test tube. These are the confirmatory tests. HCL test, red brown PPT and oxalic acid paste test. So, we can say in a given source, acetate red color is present. Okay, thank you students.